There's a couple of different ways that you could film or record using screencasts and even the editing tools. And this will depend on what subject it is that you're trying to deliver, uh, what the information is, whether it's a physical, a verbal, um, a visual instruction, etc. And generally just what your preferred style is. So you may prefer just to teach in front of the camera or you may prefer to film your hands drawing or um, you may prefer just to upload a bunch of random YouTube videos and edit them together. It's entirely up to you. So some of the different styles or ways that you can deliver this using the screencast tools are firstly that you can do a direct filming style. And this basically gives you the ability to construct things like this. Say you were doing um, a drama performance or the dance, things like that. You want to show, um, hopefully better than mine, uh, some sort of choreography. You can record yourself directly and off you go. Say you were doing a PE demonstration and you wanted to show correct technique for a movement. You can use this, add pauses, video, audio, um, and text, and you can use this to represent a technique for it. So these are examples of direct video demonstrations. This is an example of a virtual presentation where I can deliver a normal film instruction but I can use the screen behind me to create a virtual image so I can have either a static image that I get off the internet or I can use a video from YouTube, anything like that. So now I can deliver a normal instruction in front of or on the moon, in this case a potions class, anything I want. The whiteboard style is a great simple way to both film yourself and also the board or a screen behind you that you're going to use. So this is great for um, maths and science sort of subjects, even if you wanted to explain uh, a concept in PE in terms of running a play, or you could even use this for language if you're talking about written language. So rather than going for the overhead style of filming your hand on a desk, if you've got a whiteboard accessible, you can record using this. The overhead style is a great technique for um, recording anything that you want to see over the top. So here you can see I can use it for music and I can film myself playing the piano. I can use it for math lessons if I want to explain the concept of winning a poker. Um, even things like I've used this for submitting results um, or solutions to a test. Anything that you want to do, something with a written example. You could even do this from an art perspective. If you could film a bird's eye view down of um, some sort of a painting or some sort of a craft task. Anything that you want to see your hands and something being done rather than a screen or a digital version, the overhead view is a good way to do this. PowerPoint style, this is sort of the most commonly understood version or expected version. This basically is that you build a PowerPoint and you use screencast, which is what I'm doing at the moment, and you record yourself over the top of it. So as you can see down here, I've got the green screen photo or video of myself and I'm going through a PowerPoint that I'll just click through and I'm going to rate as I go and I'd end up constructed a video from that. The lightboard style, this is a great way to demonstrate um, the same sort of concepts as the whiteboard except that the lightboard gives you the fact that you can face the camera so it creates a bit more of a personalization but also it's this really cool effect of having the fluoro texture that seems to be levitating in the middle of the air as you go through a problem. So this is just a slightly more advanced or a slightly different version of the whiteboard, but obviously you need the actual um, glass screen with the LED illumination in the first place. It's, it's not just a camera technique, but it is a really good tool.